hey beauties welcome back to the channel my name is hope on this channel we do all things beauty skincare hair makeup diys and lifestyle and if that's like what you're interested in then you're in the right place so if this is your first time on this channel please smash the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much you're the real mvp thank you for always supporting thank you for always coming back to show me some love i really do appreciate you guys okay so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the goji berry um face cream yeah that's it the goji berry face cream and the goji berry face serum so yes this um are the product to be reviewing today and if you would like to see the review of this product follow me while we jump right into the video welcome back guys now let me quickly tell you guys this so it is raining and then you might be hearing that in my background but i'm gonna try to be very loud so that you hear everything i have to say in this video so like i said guys we're going to be reviewing the goji berry face cream and the goji berry face serum now the first thing i want to say about this product is that if you're getting if what you get from the market is goki berry know that you're getting the original it is not fake here even the serum it is spelled goki berry yes this is also the same goji berry we all know about the only difference is they have changed the name because of um you know they started producing the fake they started producing the imitation so the company decided to change the name so that people would know that this is the original one since there are so many goji berries in the market so don't be don't be confused you're getting the original one yes i also was confused when i was going to get this product because all i've been hearing about was goji berry goji berry goji berry goji berry and so i had to go do my research and make sure that i'm getting the original product so with that aside let's jump right into the video now the goji berry face serum and these and and the face cream actually has hyaluronic acid retinol organic botanicals and um is paraben free and fragrance free so i found fragrance in the ingredient list so i really this felt confusing for me but overall i'm going to tell you guys how the product worked because i didn't want to do a separate video for the both i just wanted to have these two together so the first one i'll be talking about is goji berry face cream now the goji berry face cream is a cream that i've used for over four weeks I've, I've used it for like five weeks and i can tell you how this um face cream worked for me yes and then another thing i would like to state before i go further in this video is the price point i got this for 1700 naira but some people sell it for 2000 naira and above while the um face serum i got this for 1500 naira talking about the face cream first i'm going to go straight into what is written on the pack and then i'm going to talk about the packaging of this product so first thing i like the color you guys know i like colorful things right so i like the color of the pack i like the packaging it looks very attractive they have bright colors on it so secondly um i'm going to talk about the ingredients the first ingredient in this product is water mineral oil glycerin petrolatum cetyl alcohol peg 20 sterate glycerol sterate peg 100 sterate dimenticone Carboma, tritanomine. Guys, you know people know that this is the part I don't like. I don't like to be mentioning all these botanical words, but please, you're gonna take it like that. But then we move <laughs> xanthan gum, di diazoline, di no, oh my god, urea, methyl paraben, propyl paraben, fragrance, disodium, EDTA, CI 75470. Oh guys okay so that is the ingredient in this product so we want to really know we want to really find out if the product if what the manufacturer said actually um tallies with my experience with the product so the inspiration of the product is from the medla which has powerful ability in res resisting oxidation and shows the new breakthrough of skincare and contains himalaya medla with organic herbal essences which contains moisturizing and antioxidant ingredients ha 500 times of moisturizing effect flavon vitamin a resistant oxidant that's in brackets and is capable of resisting wrinkles moisturizing and firming skin with fast absorption due to its non-greasy property so how to use this product extend a proper amount on the face and neck and then gently massage till absorbed better effects to use in the morning and in the evening now this product i'm going to go ahead and open it so that you can see how it looks this is how this product looks on the inside this is what it looks like this is what the container looks like and this 
is 100 ml and then this is what it looks like when you open it it has like a covering here like a protector so this is it you get to open this first before you can see i've been using the cream you can see it and the cream is actually very big i've been using it for over four weeks now about five weeks so this is how much we've gone with the product if you are not a heavy user like me this product can last you up to three months yes it can last you up to three or even four months this is the consistency of the product this is the consistency so this is what i use as my face moisturizer so you see how it glides into the skin it, it actually does so much in um moisturizing the skin that one i can't lie about so you see how we just sank into the skin look at it you see how we just sank into the skin so it is non-greasy it's actually very very um it absorbs well into the skin that's the first thing i observed about this product and i really loved that about the product the content is actually pinkish like a baby pink but now i want to quickly tell you guys how to use this product for better results please apply this product when your skin is damp when you if you apply it when your skin is dry it will feel not greasy per se but it won't sink well as when your skin is a bit wet it just absorbs straight into your skin and you get more i feel like you get more benefits when you do it that way the first week i used it it was okay it was really nice but on the second week i started having in fact before that first week ran out it started purging my skin and then another thing that i'm going to still say is that when you're using this product make sure you're not using it with a vitamin c serum because of the retinol ingredients in this so you don't forget it states that it has retinol so you don't want to use retinol and vitamin c together so if you're using a vitamin c serum please look for that is why that is the more reason why i got the um matching serum i mean the matching serum from the same um product line for it so make sure that when you're using this face cream you're avoiding anything like vitamin c on your face because those two does not go together it does not go well together and then at some point i started having serious breakouts honestly i don't know if it is this um product but then as you can see my face is back to normal my face is okay now so I, as at the time when i started this product i introduced a lot of new skincare product into my skincare regimen so i didn't know if it is this product or other product so that is another thing i want you to look out for if you're going to start out this product please make sure that you don't have too many junks or too many um jam packs product in your skincare regimen so it was my first time introducing retinol to my face because the, the body lotion i was using at that time had retinol in it and if you like to know which body lotion is that i'm going to link it up here so that you know the product i'm talking about so i had to get this one as my face cream because it had retinol and so far i do not regret buying it but then like i said make sure that when you're applying this product to your skin you're putting just a little will go a long way make sure that you're putting it when your face is still damp don't apply it when your face is dry you wouldn't get the benefits yes it's going to go in but i feel like it leaves more oil on my face when i apply it when my face is dry so and then try not to use drying soaps on your face i think that one also contributed in why i had the breakouts yes because i was using a product that was actually drying me out so my it was stripping my skin of its um, natural oils so it started breaking out so please this product is a very good product it's not going to lighten you let me quickly state that this product is not lightening if you're using this product with the um with the hope of lightening it will disappoint you it is not going to lighten but it will moisturize your skin and it will keep your skin hydrated all day yes i can say that with my full chest and then this product also is also good for people with dry skin if you have a dry skin and you use this product it actually has it actually moisturizes real good a little like i always say goes a long way you guys know how i like to put a lot of product on my skin but then using this product i found out that i don't even need so much to go a long way but if, and then if you have um an oily skin i feel like on oily skin types you might not need so much just use a little quantity and it does moisturizes i love how it moisturizes i love how my skin feels after using it i love how it smells it has a very soft 
fragrance though it is written on here that it has no fragrance but i don't believe that and then this product is made in china in case you want to know yes this product is actually a china product overall i'm going to say this product is a good product i'm going to rate it 85 percent it does well in moisturizing your skin so if you have a dry skin you might benefit more if you have an oily skin type you might only need a little quantity you don't need too much so that it doesn't clog your pores that's what i feel i might be wrong because i can't really say i don't have an oily skin so because even with my dry skin when i apply it i see how much oil it produces so and i love it it's not as if it produces excess oil but i like how it makes moisturize and hydrates my skin and you know it brings out a little bit of oil on my skin which is what i like so i feel like on uh, a oily skin type it might you know produce excessive oils for you so if you're going to use it don't use me i'm a heavy user like i said don't use like i use my own i'm going to say apply just a little quantity and it will go a long way and you're going to be moisturized all day long so now let's talk about the uh, serum i wouldn't say too much about the serum i would love to go through all of the ingredients but i don't want this video to be too long but then i'm going to say the ingredients some of the ingredients that are here are also in the um, face cream it has hyaluronic acid retinol and orga organic botanicals i'm going to talk about what the manufacturer says about this product it says that the, this product is enriched with whitening and moisturizing ingredients such as abrotin to effectively fade melanin and deeply moisturize your skin, leaving it shiny. Yes, that is one thing that I was going to say about this product. It leaves your skin shiny, not particularly oily, but after using it, you feel this glow, you know. Both the face cream and the serum, yes, it leaves a very mild glow on your skin. You, so, after face cleansing apply proper amount on the face and gently massage until absorption for this product is for all skin types on the face cream it's not um, indicated whether this is for all skin types or not but on the serum it says it's good for all skin type so the ingredients i'm going to mention just a few not all because of, i don't want this video too long water glycerin then hold on a minute did you guys notice my hair i'm actually on a low cut tell me what you think about my hair in the comment section because i'm thinking of rocking this look for some time okay so back to the ingredients i'm going to skip some of the ingredients but i'm going to mention a few it has um sodium hyaluronate it has hydrogenated castor oil it has fragrance it also has fragrance but i'm hoping that it doesn't have so much fragrance because of those that get irritated it has iron oxide then it has lactose these are some of the this has it has z maize which is cornstarch so this product says it is anti-aging but i also love the packaging is same as the it's also colorful same as the face cream and this is what it looks like so you can see that it's a product that i've been using it's not a product that i just started using this is what it looks like you can see i'm past halfway through this serum so this is it so when i told you guys i've been using this product for five weeks you i'm sure you believe me so this is it can you see it this is what it looks like and then it has like tiny bits in it i don't know if you can see it it has tiny bits orange color bits inside so now I'm, I'm going to tell you guys how this product works for me this is actually very hydrating i love how it feels if you if you've watched my previous video about the vitamin c serum that i use i'm going to be leaving a link somewhere in this video it is quite different from this this one is kind of a bit thick you know compared to that one but i like it either way because of how it's feels on the skin so let me um just show you what it looks like i'm going to be taking just one drop one drop would do so that's it so it's sort of slimy kind of so unlike the other vitamin c serum that i reviewed on my channel recently that i used this one is different but then it glides it's very silky i love how it also feels on the skin it's silky i use this on some on the days i'm using the face cream because the vitamin c serum i don't want to use it with the face cream and this combination is very beautiful when you use the two together oh my god it's just soften your skin your skin is going to feel like baby skin so i love how it feels on the skin it is mild and it leaves this moisturizing feel on your skin after you use it i've told you guys when you want to apply this product either of the product allow your face to be a bit damp either damp from bathing or for those who use toner with your to your face toner 
but overall this product i'm going to recommend it anytime any day this cost 1500 naira it is super affordable and it's very very nice for the price so i got this product simply because i didn't want to use i didn't want to use my vitamin c serum with the um, face cream so i had to get alongside the face serum to go with the product and i really love it i love i really do love how my skin feels my skin literally thanks me after applying this product on my face and another thing i'm going to tell you is this product actually makes you sensitive to the sun because of the retinol in it so if you're going to be using this product during the day make sure that you have your sunscreen to go with it don't go out in the sun using this product or it might worsen your skin condition because retinol actually makes your skin sensitive to the sun you know retinol and sun are not friends so make sure that when you're using this product you go alongside with a good sunscreen that suits your skin type so i hope i've been able to answer your question about this product now hold on a minute if you've watched this video up to this point and you haven't smashed the subscribe button what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button please also do not forget to like and share this video to your friends and then i am going to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye